installing a Dakota Digital coolant temp sensor on an LS engine. You're about to see me be pretty hard on Dakota Digital, but I don't want to give you the wrong impression. I actually really like the company and their gauges, and I think that they were the best choice for our 1980 Camaro. Their customer service was very helpful and sent us replacement parts for free. Anyway, let's get on with taking a look at the installation of the coolant temperature sending unit for the Dakota Digital gauges. First step is to remove the plug that is at the rear of the passenger side of our LS3. Now this engine has never had fluids in it, to my knowledge. And so we don't, ex we don't expect a bunch of stuff to run out when we pull this plug out. This is our Dakota digital temperature sensor. We're just putting a little Teflon tape on the threads just to try to get the best darn seal that we can. I would say two times around this plenty. Now Dylan's going to take a 5 8 inch wrench and a 3 quarters inch wrench and tighten these two together. Looks like you're getting it pretty tight there, Dylan. It should be tight enough to not explode. All right, now when it's me, I might be a perfectionist, but I like to have my ridges lined up between the two things. Fair enough, for sure. Now yeah, this is what Dakota Digital calls the assembly. The assembly. So they have what they call a crush washer that is going to be the seal for that. So we will not be taping those threads. They're not pipe threads. They're just threads. So now Dylan's putting the crush washer onto our temperature sensor assembly. That's as tight as I can by hand. Okay. The instructions say tighten it with the wrench one quarter turn. Okay. Make a note of where you're starting so that you can do a quarter turn. I'd pick one of the ridges on the nut. Yeah. I choose the top ridge. Where would you say it is? 1145? 1205. <laughs> okay, so just take it down to about 3 o'clock. Uh-oh. Is that it breaking? I think so. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Currently one quarter turn is a bit too tight. I'm glad that I managed to get the threads out. Yeah. Okay, that sucked. Okay, so Dylan's tightened it up to where it's finger tight. And now he's, I'm sure, taking note of where it started. I think it feels tight enough. Okay. I would estimate that was not even another eighth of a turn. Yeah. This is a scolding of Dakota Digital. There's no reason why I should have to have a connector for a sensor this close to a spark plug wire. This is how Chevrolet does it. A short sensor, a connector, a wire that comes off this way, and it doesn't get that close to the spark plug wire. But over here, they're going to be in contact. And this is how, this is... Dakota Digital's design, I mean really this is like it's actually shoving the spark plug wire out of the way. That's not very good Dakota Digital. Pictured are two different connectors for the Dakota Digital temperature sending unit. This is the one that comes with the VHX gauge kit. This is one that on request when I'm like, hey this guy is actually pushing on the spark plug wire and pushing the spark plug wire out of the way. They're like, well, we have this other one. This one uh, is a lot more kind of homemade looking. This one looks more factory, more professional. But uh, I guess there's a good chance that this one won't be touching the spark plug wire. 
Okay, so here's a close look at our alternative Dakota Digital wiring connector. First thing to notice is it's still in contact with the spark plug wire right here. And this is a flaw in Dakota Digital's design um, by trying to use one universal sender. They, they force you to use this adapter, which of course pushes the whole thing out much further from the head than you would like it to be. The connector is still in, t in contact with the spark plug wire. This does not look um, like something the factory would do. There could be wear issues with this wire vibrating against this hard plastic connector. And it just is, is kind of substandard. You know, I really think Dakota Digital can do better than this. Most of their stuff is, is very high quality, but this, this is lacking. Comments and questions are always welcome and they help other viewers. Thank you for watching.